Good news, if you're using CapCut, then congratulations. Now you can download CapCut effects and filters and transitions. Just drag and drop them to your video project and that's awesome. You're done there. Now, you can download same as Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve. Let's go to the computer screen and learn how you can download easy effects and how you can apply. It is available for Windows and Mac users. And if you can try on mobile phone, then you can try. Let's go there. All right. So head over to this website, link will be in the description. Once you are here on this website, there are options to download for Windows and MacBook. And if you scroll down, you will find motion and all the tools you want for your video editing. You can choose the filter or the editor or the sound effect, whatsoever the editing pack you need, then download a particular editing pack or simply download all of them. I'm using MacBook so I hit over to MacBook and here you need to type your email address. After that, press the download button. It has sent you an email. Now you just go to your email and verify. Here is your email. Yes, I want to subscribe. Here you can see that your download pack has been started and the total size is 236 MBs for my Mac. Now just go to open folder and here you will see zip file. Click and unzip this file. Here is the pack manager installer. Double click on this one and install. It has started installation. Now wait for some seconds. Continue, continue and agree. Continue and continue. Install. Now give your passcode as it has successfully integrated to my macbook now i can press ok and there are some further procedures done you can see the notifications here as well boom here you go close it says hello okay windows user can simply open the standalone program and for the mac users you can just go there and search standalone and this will be the software after installation you open and it will open like this you will have all the plugins and the editing tools here for all the programs if the CapCut is not here you can select other video editors and premiere pro whatsoever you are using filmora iMovie or Final Cut Pro DaVinci. There are all the options covered here. Now select continue. Here is the starter package. All right, these are some of the examples. Close this one and here you go. Here you will see all the packages. Whatsoever you need, for example, analog glitch, you select any of them and just go to download section. Let's say I wanna download this one. It is checking for some updates. You can cancel this place as well and go to this place and it's the same meaning. A download has been started, it's completely free so you don't need to worry about this one now. Press OK and here is the glitch effect. Now go to CapCut, import and select that location or drag and drop the file. I'm gonna drag it to the CapCut. Let's download some more effects and glitch options here. As you can see that these are tons of features. You don't need anything else. Everything is already here for your transitions, for your filters, for your effects and the elements you use in your video editing. Look, this is beautiful. Now I drag these videos to CapCut to apply these transitions and effects. All right, so here are my videos and here are the effects I have recently downloaded. And I'm gonna put some transitions here. Now, just go to any effect you downloaded recently and place it on this place and set the duration you like. And you can increase and decrease the duration anytime. Let's say this is our duration. And now drag the other effect wherever you want. And the third effect as well. This one, I wanna place it here. Now I wanna decrease the size a little bit. And now, what do you need to do? If you play this video, it will look like this. There is nothing. If you come here, this is also the same. And if you come here, these glitch options are similar. Now, you select all of them. Now go to video and now go to normal. And now go to screen. You play. You can place some sound effects here to make it cooler and to give it more cinematic look. I hope you like this video and if you like, thumbs up and subscribe. I have multiple videos on CapCut and other video editing tools and I'll bring you some awesome stuff in the future and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.